As the days become longer and the snow begins to melt on the river banks, stress settles in for elver fishermen. In the spring, they go after these tiny baby eels, which are sold to Asian markets. The fishery is the state's second largest behind lobster. Daryl Young and Patricia Bryant can remember when they got involved decades ago. Well, it was kind of like a free-for-all, I guess. I mean, you just went and, and fished and, and tried to pick the best spot you could to catch as many eels as you could catch. We caught piles and piles and piles of eels at the time. And I remember losing 100 pounds one night because the dog chewed the cord to my blower and it, they died. And it was like, oops. But we went back and got some more the next day, so it didn't really matter, but it was like, oh, that's kind of a shame. If it was now, I, I would have shot myself. For years, the Elvers weren't worth much. But in 2011, prices skyrocketed after a tsunami wiped out eel farms in Japan. The going price reached more than $2,000 per pound. For many hardworking fishermen, financial goals were achieved, and then some. Got a new house, I built a new house. I um, bought a different car, not a new car, paid off everything I owed. Built a few buildings and, and helped my son out building a house. But a poaching problem surfaced. Jeffrey Pierce of the Maine Elver Fishermen's Association says poachers started catching the juvenile eels in other states and selling them here. Someone's calling saying, hey, I know where there's a bunch of Elvers, and then greed takes over. And that greed has dealers like Bryant living on edge. I've been robbed once, but they at least robbed my shop. They robbed my eels. They didn't take my money. I have no idea why. There will be many changes this season as regulators look to crack down on poachers, conserve the population, and get a better handle on the fishery. One of the changes will include the addition of a swipe card system where landing information will be recorded automatically and those numbers sent to the main revenue service. If you're taking somebody's poached eels, you're going to be responsible for paying for those eels too. Catch limits will also be reduced and these fishermen hope making cuts now will secure the fishery for future generations. I'm Lindsay Mills for ABC7 and Fox 22.